everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you to one of my followers who gave me a heads up right after I posted the other video about a massive X4.5 solar flare that occurred, oh, probably about 15 or 30. I, I think that's universal time. Let me click this forward a few clicks so you can see it going off. This is it right there. And it's really fast and quick. Look at this. Look at that. Massive. Just massive. Let me go ahead a little bit farther. And I'll go back. Well, actually, I'll just probably just play it here for you in a minute. There we go. Okay, watch. It's fast. There's, there's actually two of them there. But this one, yeah, see how fast that is? Wow. Now, if spaceweather.gov is up to date, it's going to impact us probably around uh, the 16th in two days. Let me play this for you. Actually, the radio blackouts and things for GPS and our radio and your computers, um, they were affected about six minutes or eight minutes, excuse me, eight minutes after it was released from the sun. So let me pull this back. And you can watch there it goes off the Sun and there it is impacting the earth around the 16th um, up until let's see the end of the day it looks like for the 16th here we have another image yeah it is a X 4.5 this is from the sunspot area which now has a number 3825 when I did my report about the uh, um, other solar flare it hadn't had a number given to it yet it had just come around from the back side of the Sun that one's probably one of the largest that the Sun's had in quite a while and they're saying that this is in fact a highly active area and it's going to be you know earth directed as it moves across the solar disk so what else is it going to produce right Maybe this time I'll be able to see the Aurora Borealis. Uh, yeah, I slept through it last time. I don't know if it showed up as far as South Dakota or not. But this was the one that showed up um, when I did my video about the uh, fireball that went across uh, Minnesota, was seen in South Dakota, etc. And it showed the uh, auroras, the northern lights. That was it right there. And you can see it's climbing right now. Yeah, it went up as high as a, a KP index of 6. So this one's going to be bigger. Yeah, and they can cause earthquakes and volcanic eruptions and do affect people's health. Yeah, your blood pressure, um, all kinds of problems. It actually creates anxiety, uh, things like that. Yeah, just amazing. Yeah, it's so fast and quick. I'm going to pause this. There's the beginning of that X4.5. And we'll move it ahead. It just goes so fast. Look at the filament that it threw out here. Very amazing. And then I'm going to keep going through because I want to look at that other one. Did it stop? All right, there's the other one. And to think we're not even at the beginning of the maximum for the solar cycle. Yeah, that's really amazing. Yeah. Okay, now hit play again for you. Boom. Yeah, that's fast. Yeah. So they have it listed as an R3. So for radio blackouts, it would be about an hour where communication would be lost where you'd have static on your um, radios or satellites um, yeah I noticed I was having problems with my computer yeah it was really slow so if you feel a little tense you feel a little anxious yeah this is the reason for it so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe and I'll talk to you later God bless you Bye.